decided it would be a great idea to vlog. I don't know why I decided that, because it doesn't feel like a great idea to vlog, but I'm gonna do it. I have a pimple taking over my face. I have a cold sore taking over the corner of my mouth, which really hurts. Hey. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just not in the mood for it, because I, I feel like I've chosen the most boring day to do this on. I have been abandoned by my housemate, so I'm here all alone. I can't leave my house because there's a spider under a giant bowl on the way to the front door and I just, I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm not gonna go near that spider. Anyway, trying to come up with interesting stuff to say because I feel like what you're going to see today will be very boring. I don't know how people on Instagram and YouTube have such interesting lives, but I feel like I just don't do anything. How are they? They're, they're always some interesting place or some interesting, or, or have 50 corners of their home that seem to be really Instagrammable. I don't have that. I'm surrounded by boring white walls and I don't leave this house. Actually, that's a lie. I might go into my backyard today if it's sunny because it said it was going to be warm. Then I'll reassess where I'm at and whether, what, I, what the hell to do about this cold sore. I, I don't know. It's really unpleasant. And maybe, maybe I'll even put some eyebrows on. Who knows? Who really knows? This thing is blistering the fudge up. It feels gross. And I've put stuff on it and now the stuff is in my mouth so I feel like I'm eating what I put on it. Solid start to my Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. As you can see, I didn't do the eyebrows because I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't want to. So I didn't, you know? I think I need to spritz my fern at some point today. That sounded really bad. Spritz my fern because I have the fern just over there. So I have a fern now. I Okay, well, the first thing I should usually do if I was a normal person is make coffee, but I didn't drink coffee. I think somewhere in the bloodline the Italian genes went wrong and I got the bung ones that meant that I don't drink coffee, so now I have to wake up on my own, which is really unpleasant. Anyway, in trying to be healthy, I make myself a hot chocolate. It's literally just oat or almond milk. And Cacao, cuckoo, cuckoo, I don't know how you say it, but that. Mmm, my teeth are fuzzy. Ew, gotta do something about that. What I will do is brush my fuzzy teeth, put more stuff on... Do I need to give them a name? It's just taking over my face. It's a good name for someone that I don't really like. Uh, I'm gonna Google name for someone that I don't really like. These just sound like normal people names. The most hated baby name. Madison, that's not a boy's name. Since when is Madison a boy's name? Oh, that was in the girls section. That would explain that. What if I go, Alan, Alan. There's nothing wrong with the name Alan. It's just whenever I think of it, I think about that. I don't want to say rat. It's not a rat. Possum, it's not a possum. Prairie dog, is that what they are? Alan, 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 Alan. Alan, Alan, Al, Alan. <laughs> that was great. Maybe I'll call him Alan. I'm gonna call him Alan. Okay, so this thing on my face is now affectionately known as Alan. Alan! I hope it doesn't take over my face anymore. Anyway, point being, I'm going to brush my fuzzy teeth. Sounds like a good thing to do. <sighs> the thing about bathrooms in the UK is they're really, really tiny and they smell funky. Toothbrush. Weird toothpaste that I've kind of grown to like. Don't say about having cold sores, I feel like I can't wipe my face on anything for fear of getting transferring Alan's little bugs <clears throat> to other places where it shouldn't be. I don't even know why I have one. I never used to get them in Australia. Well, that's a lie. I did, but very infrequently. And then I moved to the UK and now it's just like cold sore, 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 cold sore. What was that? Cold sore. <laughs> Right, well, I put some stuff on it. Again. This has become Diary of a Cold Sword, not Diary of an Actor. Diary of a Boring Actor. <sighs> okay. Oh, this will stay that well. Right, well. It sounds like there's something dying out of oh. I wish you could hear that. It's like a I see a squirrel, but it's not a squirrel noise. It's like a chicken cross with a cat. Right, so the great part about Zoom is nobody ever sees your face properly. 
So I can make this look as bad as I want and just turn on that skin fix filter and nobody will ever know. Which is fabulous. Just what I need. Oh, so close to the cold sore, cold sore. Usually the best part about working from home in a booth where all you need is your voice is that I can look like a hermit and nobody cares. There's also no logic to what I do here. I feel like I should have logic. I don't understand contouring, highlighting, I don't know. It looks like art, but I was never particularly good at art. So I just plomp stuff on until I look not shaggy. That is my strategy with, ah, take that zip. I keep looking at my gold saw. Do you wanna know the downside about being a redhead? There is actually eyebrow there. There is eyebrow, I swear. And you can't see it. Albeit I haven't tinted them in a while. I just have no eyebrows. Same with eyelashes. They're there, I swear, I can feel them. Problem with acting is, you can't just stay at home and be a hermit. Well, you can, but then you get a self tape and they say, oh, can you have this back to us in three hours? So if you don't do some form of makeup and you get those tapes, then not only are you freaking out that you have to like, know the tape and figure out and set up your set up and do it. You also have to fix this because they don't want an unmade up hermit, especially if it's a commercial. <laughs> Last thing they want is an unmade up hermit. The day I get a tape for unmade up hermit, I will be so happy. Eyelash curler. I always feel like I'm gonna pinch my eyeball with this thing. Ow. If only you could see them because they're curlier. Peter, you can't see because they're translucent. I have translucent eyelashes, but not for long. Top eyelashes. I feel like a lot of makeup artists do it this way. What if I... <laughs> Crikey. That did not work. Right, well, that did nothing. I don't know, this is fine. This is, it is what it is. It, I, I look like a, like a real human again. Okay. <laughs> well, that was an adventure. I look basically the same as before, except with less dark circle and less, oh, I've hidden the pimple. Look at that though. Mm. <laughs>
I'm gonna do it. I am going to see you in a minute because I'm going to get pickles. I should probably put a bra on. I've just had this momentary realization that whilst I enjoy wearing a sad, sad tracksuit, it makes my ass look like it's sort of got an extra five centimeters of sag. This is not good. I don't know if you can see this. Look at this sad, sad happening. What is this? What is this? It's like a diaper. But if I pull it up, then I've got a wedgie and <laughs> cold ankles. What? It's like I have a back crutch. Crutch. Oh, fuck it. I just want pickles. A few moments later. Pickles! And I ended up with noodles because I guess this is like the healthy person, healthier person's version of ramen. It's just, it's basically pasta but in a noodle shape with no flavoring. And I will eat this by itself because I'm weird. And a pomegranate. I really hope it's not disappointing because I think I just spent two or three pound on this pomegranate. So if it's a bad one, I will cry. Anyway, that was exciting. Also, it felt very liberating going outside not wearing a bra. Obviously, I'm wearing a hoodie, but I still haven't, still haven't properly got dressed. So, I just need a pickle. Yeah. Why are they so hard to open? Oh, what a good day. Mmm. Oh, pickles are so good. That one looks funky. Should taste like a pickle. Now for breakfast. And are any of these edible yet? Nope. Nope. Or, or, questionable. Nope. Or questionable. I feel like I'm gonna cut this open and it's gonna be solid. It feels, ah, oh, yuck, that one. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. It's, it's leaking green goo. Should it be doing that? Probably not. Ooh. That's gross. Crack the eggs or not. That, oh, fudge. Oh. People on TV make this look much easier than it is. Okay. Really? How do I now get the bacon out? No, I don't. <sighs> okay, where's the frappe? Oh. I started using avocado oil because I like to burn stuff. And then I set the smoke alarm off. I seem to burn less stuff if I use this. Okay. Time to burn stuff. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's stuck again. Ah! Oh, look at this pile of food. <laughs> mm. I should put pickles on this. So good news about this weird green spewing avocado. It tastes fine. Don't know if I'm gonna wake up spewing green stuff. I hope I'm not. A few moments later. Mm. Mm. That was good. Well, now I'm gonna make some noodles and then I'm gonna go do a live session or two. This is the most exciting thing that's happened all day. My live session went for all of 20 minutes and now I'm gonna go outside and sit in the sun patch, which is finally on the grass. Oh my gosh, can't see anything. No, 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 it's going behind a cloud. That lasted all of two seconds because the second I sat down the sun decided to go behind a cloud and now I have to go into another voice of a session. I think the environment hates me. I'm so disappointed. I might cry. Oh my god, it's coming back. <laughs> Take two, sun patch. Right, well, this has been the single most disappointing day of my life. That was the second time the sun has decided to go behind a cloud and I don't think I'm gonna have much luck in the next half hour. So I'm gonna go back into my booth of disappointment, being disappointed, and I guess I'll just, I don't know, sit in front of my red light later because the UK doesn't have sun. So I've decided that it's gonna be a good idea to exit. Well, mm, not a good idea. I've decided that I should probably exercise because all I do is sit on my ass all day. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be exercise of some form. 
A few moments later. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I think I lasted about 35 minutes. I feel like I used to be fit, but the pandemic's just screwed everything up. And now I don't want to exercise. I don't even look tired. Like, I don't think I even sweated because it's relatively colder. I was even ambitious and I took the, the, this thing outside. But if I'm honest, I didn't have enough upper body strength to do this, nor did I actually attempt to do this. I wonder if I could do it. Oh, shit. Ow! It's going well. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit! Okay, one is enough. One is enough. Whoever, whoever invented those, screw you. Right, well, my bin smells like farts, so I should probably empty it, even though I really don't want to get up or go outside. I feel like I should probably do more with my life. Let's check into emails. Not much. Cool. Oh, I got a pomegranate. Now to watch an animation whilst I peel a pomegranate.